Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Ooh, 27. You just made it. You barely did it. bunny he looks excited he's ready ready to hop on out there bite the zombies that'd be cool if he actually did he was kind of like a little companion and he just flew around killing him This room. Oh, good, a hour. Oh, I didn't get much good stuff. Samples have been collected. Ready for launch. Requiem, you may launch when ready. General guidance, solid check. 
check. Starting launch procedure. Launching in three, two, one. <laughs> Hey, what's up, Kumar? Hope you're having a good day, man. You must help me. Hey, Frosty, happy Sunday. Picking up a shift today. Oh, good. Chicken was really good. Creeper. You liked and shared RJ Gaming? I appreciate it, man. Hope you're having a good Sunday, dude.
much loot. Yet another hour. Okay. I don't, don't need to parachute. Find whoever or whatever did this and eradicate them. Good hunting. Port threat terminated. Hey, zombie boss. You miss your vacation, boom? Oh, good. Ruka. A sixty. Yeah. Look at Chili in the man cave. Strike team, we've lost comms with a scientific it's research it's unit at a mobile data station in your region. Strike team, proceed to the coordinates and assess the situation. Well, screw you, tree. Not gonna help me. Check those spots a couple of times. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm gonna die. What the fuck? This is how we play this right here. Years of experience has taught me that that's exactly how to play that. This is what happens when you make such bold claims. That was some bullshit. I don't even know how I got stuck. It's stuck on a wall or something. All I know is I didn't like it. I didn't want to have a down. I'm not going to have a down in this. What the hell? Flawless or it didn't happen.
I was watching a guy yesterday named Mitch Flower Power play Mario 3 without getting hit. It was like some kind of challenge where you had to play through as many levels in a row without getting damaged. And I'm pretty sure he got, he got through the whole game. I don't know. I didn't stay and watch all of it, but he was playing for like five hours. It was crazy. He might have went through the game several times. I don't even know. He was so good at the game, I was like rewinding it to watch different parts because I wasn't even sure what had happened. And then rewatching it, I still don't know how he did what he did. So, yeah, there's some pretty crazy tricks in that game, as it turns out. Uh, it was Super Mario 3. Field Ops, a dark ether specimen analyzer station has gone dark. Can you check in on them? My team will handle this, Gray. We'll report in when we reach the site. Uh, I should probably check for a vest down here. Give me a large chest in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, yes. Dear Matties, I'm ready to shred. I'm gonna defend straight away. I did play Daisy last night for about two hours. I almost streamed it today, but I was like, I don't know. Well, I don't know. I mainly spent the two hours I was playing just running. I was like, fuck, it's still a running sim. Play it this coming week. I don't know when you'll ever have a day off. Probably never. Or you're saying on a day where you work later in the day. Could be in this little hallway. Let's have our hour out just in case. Nope. We're clear. Ow. Oh yeah. The specimen's retained vocalization abilities. It's sending out some kind of signal. It's ringing the damn dinner bell. Strike team. Hostiles moving in. 330. If they destroy that machine, we'll lose our valuable intel. Oh, yeah. 
mixed egg and chicken roll. That sounds kind of good. Maybe. Callie made some homemade tortillas last night and made uh, chicken quesadillas with them. They were really good. And then today we went and got uh, some rolls from the bakery, so I'm going to have to do some brats this afternoon on the barbecuer. All nice and slow like. Scramble the egg and then fry the chicken and then put lots of sauces and spices. Nice. Oh yeah. Do you get bread with it or something, or is it just Ooh, the chicken and eggs? I'd like to roll that up in a tortilla. They wrap it in a kind of bread. There you go. That's what I was wondering. That's sweet. That sounds good. Confirmed. Appreciate the effort, strike team. Cheers. Anomaly site located. Activate the beacon to proceed. Not entirely sure what that means, Kumar. We should both quit smoking together, dude. I I really want to. Starting to, get, starting to get tired of it. I don't know. That and edibles are like way better than they used to be, you know, so it's like you, you pretty much don't even need to smoke. Your roommates are probably trying to get you to quit, dude. Yeah, pretty much. Like, it just... I don't know. I don't like... I don't like the smell of... You know, smoking a bunch of shit. And, like, after a couple hours, it just smells like someone's been smoking whatever. It doesn't even smell like weed, you know? It just... I just... I don't know. Growing up, I didn't really like smokers I guess and I was never really into all that and when I first started doing it 
it always bothered me to even reach in my pocket and find a lighter. Just because I knew that that's what that was. It's That's who, who I was. And it's, it's bothered me, you know, but it's just... It's so... I would say addictive, really. It's... And maybe it isn't for everybody, but for me it definitely is. Like, I don't care what anybody says. And I also use it for a lot of stupid fucking reasons that I try to turn into good reasons, I guess, you know, like avoiding nightmares when I sleep and stuff like that. In some ways it does help my mood, but I, I think in a lot of other ways it makes me like, more unstable, I guess. Yeah, I think the uh, FDA used to say they were. You know, the same people saying to take the jab. It's 100% safe and effective. They used to say that about, about that, yeah. Yeah, quitting is really hard. Thanks. First of all, you have to want to quit. Some people just don't want to. If you don't feel like you need to, like, if it's not really bothering you, then you probably won't want to. But, I don't know. It, it gets to a point where it will, I think. Like, you'll start having a lot of negative health effects. The other thing, it's kind of like going to a physical... Like, if I went to a personal trainer and they looked like me, I probably wouldn't... I probably wouldn't, right? I probably wouldn't pay them. probably wouldn't, like, seek their services. Because... The, the proof is in the fucking uh, results, right? And if if they're presenting themselves like they can't really get in shape, then they're not, you know, the best person to be teaching you that. And it's the same with medical professionals. If a medical professional smokes, I don't really take their like medical opinions that serious because they're not at me and pay this is it. yeah right you'd look at me and I'd pay <laughs> it's one dollar to look at it two dollars to touch it three dollars to touch it while I'm looking at it four dollars to touch it while I touch your toes five dollars to touch it while you touch my toes It's hard to get over any addiction. Oh, yeah, I know, dude. I've been on the pot, as my grandmother would say, for 
like 15 years now. And I want to quit though, because I'm tired of it. Like I feel, I feel the negative effects, dude. Big time. But even though I want to quit, like there are days where I'll go to bed telling myself that that's it. I'm not going to smoke again. My lungs can't handle it. I don't want to do it. I just, you know, there's a lot of reasons. Like, I don't want to spend no money on it. All this different shit. And then, like, you know, I'm lucky to get halfway through the day. Before I'm like, yep, let's just do it. Like, I, I want to go camping, dude. I want to go live in the woods for about a week or two and just not bring any of it i think that's what it would take i need i need to just get away from all of it because i have just too easily too much easy access to it like if i could get rid of all of it in my house you know but the problem is is couple days in I'll probably be like yep let's go to the shop and I'd just go buy some because it's you know it's that easy <clears throat> at least back in the day there would be like periods of, of dryness where there would be like nothing at all in town, you know, and you couldn't find shit. And I mean, it sucked because you couldn't find shit, but you, do, you also got a nice tolerance break. I don't think I've had one of those in so long, man. Go to the woods to detox. Yep. I gotta go find my happy place. You. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. I was too angry to die. Clip that shit. <laughs> I just stabbed. I just kept stabbing and stabbing because when you stab, you get just a little bit of health back. Let's get the truck. Looks like the infected get the truck. Is the transport Strauss. My team will handle the op. Your team must complete the work. Take the vehicle to the first extraction site. We've ID'd a dimensional vortex. It's a boom. We need to complete the extraction process. These vortices construct the terrible. You, you must be working, man. Extract I think that's what you meant earlier by missing your vacation. There it is. Extraction requires close proximity. Get us in position. Do not be alarmed that your vehicle has lost power. I was really thinking about playing some Mario today. Mario, Daisy, there was so many... My nose is itching like crazy, I don't know what the hell. Yeah, there's so many options. You clipped it, oh shit. <laughs> That's awesome. Should have played Mario. And I can always switch to it in a little bit. Yeah, I might just just play a variety of shit today. So second vortex should be nearby. Get 
close. Time is of the essence. I logged my Daisy character out in a shed, like way up north. I'm like in the middle of the map, all the way, way up north, kind of. It was crazy. I I was like, I want to do the mountain man thing, and so I load in, and apparently I must have been trying to do that the last time I played, because my guy, was, I had like a stone knife, a spear. A bunch of apples. I had a jerry can full of water. Which is probably how I'll do it. Like I'll need to find a good jerry. Or I could just use use that character basically. But I want to find a good spot where I got like... Like a well that I can get access to. I don't want to live there. But you know I want to go to it. And then I'll need a place where I can get either clothing... Or rope so that I can make fishing poles and stuff, you know, because I want to be able to live off the land, but I'll need, you know, materials. Like, I kind of want to only use improvised things. I don't know if we can actually craft bows yet in the game. I know there's crossbows, but it'd be nice if it if it was like a craftable bow, so I could do that. I don't want to do like the stick shelter out in the middle of nowhere and just kind of be living out in the woods. Like a hermit. Anybody comes around, I just stealth kill him. The beacons nearby. Activate when ready. Should just get into character. Hell yeah. I was actually looking at the map too, and I think I know where I want to focus my living. Because one of the main things I'll need is um, stone knives so i'll need small stones and those spawn pretty well along the railroad tracks so i kind of want to stick around the railroad tracks but i don't want to be down on the coast either so kind of find a patch of tracks i was i was thinking on the west side of the world there's the tracks run north like all the way so i could follow those and kind of like you know work my way north Find whoever or whatever to do. just like yeah, making right. shacks and probably little stashes and stuff along the way I would have grabbed that first because then it would have gave me a different perk for my free perk. But I couldn't see it. There's too much shit. Pellington. Still in this stupid Krieg, though. Getting 
tired of zombies? No! Maybe a little bit. But no! I can't admit to that. Came out of that. Oh, yeah, I need that. Drop zones identified, commencing with firing sequence. Firing in three, two, one. I think one of my favorite parts of DayZ is just the stealth aspect of it. Up. Just sneaking around Still places. Yeah, like, if come. I can get into a little camp and and loot it out and then get out without getting detected by the zombies or any players or anything, I feel pretty good about it. Or really, for me, the ultimate is when I encounter another player and I, like, hide and they don't even know that I was there. I had one... It was a while back... Like last year, I think, maybe maybe before that, I can't remember. But it was like I was coming down from the Northwest Airfield through the VMC, which is like another military camp that's just south. And I seen these two guys like coming out of the VMC, and they saw me. And it's like uh, I, sh I shot at them, and then I kind of flanked over to my left, and then I went prone, and this guy ran right, like, almost on me. Like, he fucking went to run to, like, like catch me or something, you know, but he was trying to flank, and he kind of went around the way that I had expected, and that's why I had went over that way, you know, and so he, like, literally ran within like five feet of me right over top of me almost and then i lit his ass up right as he went by and just dropped his ass and his teammate was so scared i think because he was just like what the hell but he wouldn't he wouldn't even push over there beginning conversion process Conversion complete. How the essence creates different materials is a curious process. We shall continue to study this phenomenon. Phenomenon. Where's the beacon? There is the beacon. Anomaly identified. Head to the site to activate the beacon. You got the snow they said you were getting? Shoveled most of yesterday and this morning. Oh, good. We got a little tiny bit of snow. And I'm not happy about it, but, you know, it's not that bad. It should be gone soon. You just caused yourself a ton of work. Did you break something? Satellite shows a dark ether path. 
power node in your AO. We need that crystal destroyed. Find it and do your job. Take this. You didn't have a good battery connection to the terminal. Simultaneously, your hood latch cord came off. You rehooked, rehooked it now. So you had to take off the engine cover under the car and poke it with a two foot rod. So you had to open your hood from the ground underneath the car basically. It's like my ex-brother-in-law had this freaking 97 F-350 and the starter was going out on it. And so sometimes you'd have to crawl under the truck. Like you'd go to start the truck and there would just be nothing there. Nothing at all, right? So you'd crawl under the truck with a screwdriver and tap on the starter. Literally tap on it with a screwdriver like you were a drummer. And then get back in the truck, and when you tried to start it, it would it would actually, like, have a starter and start. Plant the charges on the dark and it was, you know, kind of embarrassing, because sometimes you'd be in the weirdest parking lots. You know, it could happen at any time. Like, you'd pull up, park the truck, and then when you went to go, you know, get back in it to leave, the starter just didn't want to work. Sometimes it did work, though. Yeah, it was a pain in the ass. It was... It was kind of funny. I'm not sure what was going on with it. Like, if it's like a... Some sort of moving piece inside the starter that would get stuck, and then by tapping on it, you're, like, unsticking it somehow. I assume that's what was happening, but I have no idea. I don't know the science in it. Yeah, I don't know. It's like, I believe the first ever television broadcast, when they went to do it, it didn't work. Like, the camera didn't work right away. And so one of the, like, camera guys there hit the side of the camera, and it caused it to work. And then it was dubbed the mechanical tap. And so it's considered an actual thing to smack a electronic device to get it to work so when you see me throw my controller on the ground that's all I was trying to do I wasn't trying to break the controller I was just trying to get it to work correctly what's up rain the starter spins tapping on it I believe helps it get going If a hammer can't fix it, you don't need it. Hell yeah.
If your vehicle's been sitting low on battery or a starter that's on its way out or cold outside, tap the starter in any of those situations. You're going, it's 10.51 p.m. You gotta go or you'll miss your train. All right, dude. Have a good night, man. Motorcycles don't pull on. Don't pull an OCC and hammer in the sprocket. I've heard a lot of their bikes did not run very well. Or were very uncomfortable to ride. I've seen a bunch of different videos come up about it. Like. You do not want one of those bikes. Which is crazy because they were, you know, so expensive. Yeah. Let's do that. I'm gonna do black chest and use it on this rake, eh? Even though it's only a two pack right now, but it's better than nothing. Most of them are junk. Yeah. About to head to your mechanics with a vehicle lift. Throw in some sway bar links. Oh, good. I'm gonna stiffen up the. Is that for the rear end then? Do not be afraid. Find the locks. Destroy them. One seal broken. Oh, yeah. Two to go. Are shot. Oh, good. I always wanted to get. There was like this. It was like Petters was the brand, I think. They had like this whole fucking suspension kit that was like three grand for my car, but it was like all the fucking bushings and different shit, sway bars and all sorts of shit. I think it was like the fucking shocks and struts as well though it was like you needed to do that then you needed like another three grand for brakes six grand for some sort of supercharger it was all dream shit you know things I never did
Really need to get rid of those tempests. I don't know if they followed me though. And she could look back on the bike. Strauss, we've located the harvested transport. And what's left of your men? Find the dimensional vortex to begin the extraction process. Oh, shite. Hurry, please. Take the transport to the first extraction site. These vortices construct the terraforming crystals. Extract the primordial ethereum for analysis. There's the vortex. Do not be shy. Extraction is an intimate process. The vortex's magnetic field has disabled the transport. Power will return once collection is complete. In the meanwhile, I trust you can protect the harvester. Your goal for launch. Control, Zyra Young, please. Launch sequence in progress. All systems go. Launching in three, two, one. Systems show good burnout. Rocket on course for delivery. Primordial Ethereum remains a mystery. Samples will help evolve our understanding. Anomaly site located. Activate the beacon to proceed. I could do the free perk. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be working on my day off. Fuck that. Whole day at work, you just gotta be like, I'm not even supposed to be here today. up in 
Okay. Collateral. Field Ops, I have lost contact with one of my Ethereum harvesters. Requesting strike team investigate. Copy that. Strike team inbound to their last known location. There's an order. Sure, a crate went. There it is. I have the hardest time shooting like stationary objects. Try to move with some vigor, strike team.
Once I have the Ethereum, my work may continue. Anomaly site located. Activate the beacon to proceed. all the stuff. There. I've seen die machines come out of medium chest. Fuck. Full power, that's not bad. Not a die machine. There is a large up here on this other house, though. It's a blizzard out there. Great! It's just now letting up. Regular ray gun. I can't have it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I love March snow. <sighs> I love it when we get like a week of 60 degree weather and then just a week of bullshit snow right after it. I love it. Strike team, we've lost comms with a scientific research unit at a mobile data station in your... Sounds like Iowa. Strike team, proceed to the coordinates. I'm sure it's a lot of northern states. Like the weather just cannot make up its mind. Spring is not sure to be sprung or or what. I'm afraid your men are down, Gray. My team will complete the specimen analysis. Roger that, Weaver. Strike team, grab the specimen and place it in the analyzer. The process is automatic and will transmit any genetic data to our lab. That's not good. Not good at all. for really hot weather 70s and 80s lately that does sound pretty nice I would think that's really hot right now but it was 33 this morning when we got in the car to go to go get drinks and, and food
back when you were in PA, 60 was nice. Just need a little more time. It's crazy because now when I go out and it's low 60s, I feel like I need a winter jacket. I would see that down in Texas. Like when we get down to like the 60s, you'd see people wearing jackets. And I'd be like, what are you guys doing? Around here, when it warms up to about 40 degrees outside, I will be walking around in t-shirt and shorts for the rest of the year. to the Florida weather. Well, that's good. Seven. Analysis complete, Gray. We're receiving now. Hopefully, this will help us understand how their little brains tick. Oh, there's fire bitch right there. Look at her. God damn it! I couldn't get a shot on her there at the end. I was wanting to because she'll usually drop some good shit. Or he, she, I. Oh, it's a ghost. Where's the Omega Chopper? Oh, there he is. Be able to hit the there he is. I have no idea what I did to it. Really a big deal. Ooh, there is an Orta though. He could have a die machine. We could have two sentry turrets.
It's Duga. And we're not leaving here until we get a dime machine. Damn it. Duga. Let's escort. Gross. Weaver, our recon rover is ready to begin dimensional research transfer. Strike team, get to the coordinates to begin rover escort. Make sure the rover crosses a dimensional threshold. Any intel it recovers will be key to our understanding how the dark ether affects organic matter. Keep that rover company strike team. Roger. Searching for dimension breach.
the hell are you doing up there? Maybe down here. I don't want to have to jump up there if you drop something. in there. No, dude, I'm just playing. Just playing Outbreak. Struggling here. Yeah, high waves. This is it. Super high. We're almost into the high waves. Yeah. That particular anomaly should safely deliver our rover to the dark ether. Shows a surge of hostiles emerging from breach. What the hell? Never seen the rover go up and over an abomination like that. Yeah, the chicken turned out really good. Great, do you have a signal? Confirmed. Rover has arrived in the dark ether and is transmitting. Me and the turkeys need a show. The beacon's nearby. Activate when ready. Wouldn't that be something? I've thought about going around town just kind of talking shit to them in general. Letting them know how unwelcome they are in this whole neighborhood. Ether tools. I'll take that. Though. Yeah, I got two chickens roasting on a grill right there, and they're just like, yeah. It's a mystery box. I guess we'll go hit that. Maybe we can get a melee weapon. Like, I could probably grab them and just break their neck. And they'd probably, the rest of them would probably still not care. Like, you can tell that people will be slowing down and stopping for them in the road. Because they try to bully the road, you know. They'll walk right out in front of you and expect you to stop. And I don't. I don't slow down. And you know, they'll hustle their ass up out of the way if you don't slow down. But if you slow down, they take their sweet ass time. I'm not trying to put up with a bird with an attitude. Showed your chef. Best. Your finished chicken and yes. Have you ever left them whole and stuffed the herbs and lemons inside the chickens? Sometimes the cut on the chicken can dry out. Um, no. 
I've done like beer butt chicken basically where you put a lot of the herbs and stuff into a, a can of beer you know you like dump out about two-thirds of the beer itself put some butter and herbs and all that in the can they have whole grill setups for it right for like that'll help stand a can up in your grill so you put the can inside the bird you kind of set them like standing up you know and you poke a bunch of holes in the can as well and it like sits there and percolates all the herbs and whatnot into the chicken but even doing it that way it, it does not come out as moist as it does doing it the way i did it on on stream like and maybe i don't know it's for me it's i do it a particular way each time and so i've never had it dry out You would have to just cook it way too long, I would think. But I, you know, I put, uh, like the lemon slices that I put down really helps. And the herbs themselves, you know, it's like if I don't have the lemon slices, the herbs still, um, like they'll burn up, but it's like barely, you know, they, there'll be still some that's recognizable and, and some that isn't towards the end of it. look at it chicken can be kind of weird to cook you know because it's like it can go from like perfect to dry fairly quick depending on how you're cooking it Like, when I worked at a freaking Dairy Queen, they would tell me to fry the chicken strips for three and a half minutes. And then to take them and put them in the box and that they would finish cooking themselves, which I didn't believe in that, you know? Like, if you took a chicken strip out of the grease at three and a half minutes and opened it up, it was raw on the inside. With, you know, but apparently if you did put them in the box and leave them sitting there, by the time, you know, after like a minute or so, by the time they got to the customer, they would finish cooking themselves and, um, you know, you'd get like a really juicy chicken strip. But, you know, I didn't, I did not like doing that. I didn't trust that people wouldn't just like take a bite of it immediately and end up with like a raw piece of chicken in their mouth so i wouldn't do it like that i would seriously go to like four minutes you know and nobody ever complained about it being dry or anything but i could see where i was not doing what what they had told me to do as far as pulling them when they were raw But, you know, if I would have went another minute with the fryer, they would have been drier and shit, too. Like, fryer, you can really screw shit up. I'll whack you. The smoke flavor is amazing. Yeah, the smoke flavor and all the spices and stuff. Like, I had quesadillas, or a chicken quesadilla with it the next day, and... It you know, yesterday, and it was really good. Um, so I don't really need this cane. And I'm pissed off that we haven't got a dime machine yet. Like, what the hell? We could try... Let's try a chopper gunner. Don't you go under the map, you, so you son of a bitch. Oh, you son of a bitch. I, I have no shot down here. Yeah, yeah. Wonderful use of my 250 blue salvage. Yeah. 
great. This game is engineered to the utmost. I mean, I guess we'll try it again. You know, and if it doesn't work this time, then I don't know. Oh, it won't let me do it right now. No, it goes. Long wolf calling wolf den over. Here we go. This is the one. We got this. Shit. You have a neighbor below you that grills and it comes up to your apartment, but it smells so good. I bet. Sometimes, I don't know who it is, dude, but sometimes there'll be somebody in the neighborhood grilling. And, you know, you just stop for a second and smell it. Like, oh, man, they're having good dinner tonight. Well, that sucks, dude. I'm getting irritated with the chopper gunner. Tire bitch can be in here. She's not. Yeah, it lures you right in. Oh, man. I want a die machine before I leave here. But I don't want to stay here either. Fuck. It's also noon already. Holy shit. chest it could have a die machine it has a purple 79er that's not bad if I can get to it thanks Multiple kills, maybe the Did I already find fire bitch on this map? Why are they so fast? Oh, 
A one? That's rare. There needs to be like a daily lucky number and a daily unlucky number to where if you hit the lucky number, no matter what, it gives you the jackpot. Regardless of what, you know, number it is. And then the unlucky number could like take away like a shitload of points, like maybe half your points or something. Yeah, like sometimes a one could be a jackpot. Daisy next week. What about right now? Let's go right now. <clears throat> right now? Not right now. Fine. You don't have a lot of time today. That's bullshit. You're supposed to be off today. I'm mad about it. You're here right now. Frosty, no. <laughs> oh, my God, higher elevation. Oh, you know what would work great for this? A chopper gunner. Try to call it in up here on the tower, though. Maybe it'll deploy the bird in a place that's not shit. It does as a as higher elevation if you're not under the map. Cocksucker! That's the third time in a row. And the guy has the audacity to tell me to make it count. Priority tasking request received. Viper one, two, As we're out. flying around in the upside down. Uh, 
Like, I'm trying to get you a really good shot here. Sit still, hellhound. Oh, really? I've been on this wave for days. You've never seen it go under the map? God, I have, and it's terrible. It's done it to me three times in a row now. How's it going though, Lewis? Hope you're having a good Sunday, man. That one counted. I jumped at the right second. day off today oh yeah nice dude fuck you game vehicles it has been an absolute struggle to get legendary on this wave oh yeah and this thing's kind of smoking already What's new in DayZ? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I know they've added a few more guns and a bunch of, bunch of shit. There's like chain mail now and crossbows and
my god, a 98? Hopefully it gives me the die machine. Give me a hour. A hour. I spawned in with a hour. What's it going to be next? Specials and Elites? So we got everything else. Christ's sake. I can see like one, two, three, four Elites. Or I guess they're probably Specials. It's probably four different Manglers pinging right now. There's two over there. Two over there. Or essence and salvage, please, game. Quit screwing around. Screw around too much. Kills with equipment. Why? So Stardew Valley got a new update. Might have to play that one of these days. I go on a total chill, chill stream marathon or something. The game does just say no. No dime machine for you. I probably warp to the next wave and have a freaking megaton just drop an electro bolt naturally. Knowing my luck. I guess I could hit the box. That would probably be the best bet because remember the other day when I was trying to get something, the box kept giving me dime machines. Oh, look, another Thanks. shotgun. What? Uh, 
An RPG. What's up, James? Appreciate the like, man. Okay. Note to self, high waves, just hit the box. machine finally we can run fast it took like an extra hour field ops this is strauss ecm satellite evading launch copy that dr strauss my team is on route to the drop zone now waves these modules siphon essence from the infected and convert the unique material into dark ether objects guided sequence locked firing sequence initiated firing in three two one i always love this part look up here they come Establishing plasma field perimeter. Plasma field perimeter established. You may now begin the essence collection procedure. Protect the module team. Don't let them destroy it. Essence capacity at 25%. Oh. 
A 50? Eliminate. Give me 100. Weaver, our disruptor satellite has good alignment. Ready to breach. Team, get to the uplink station and bring the dimensional disruptor online. Yeah. Once activated, the disruptor finds apex targets with high ethereum concentrations and extracts them from the dark ether. Connection established, this is nominal. Locking target. Initiating firing sequence. Ah! You are authorized to terminate the HVT strike team. Containment wants him dead, not alive. Firing in three, two. I don't think one. you can gamble Al. Let it escape. Finish it off. I know, I wish we had skis on this. We'll investigate, Doctor. Strike team sending you the coordinates. Like, there's all those racks of skis at the top of the mountain. We should be able to grab a pair and ski down. Your men are down. My team will finish their work. Search the area for those harvesters. Disengage the Aetherium canister and bring it to the rocket. My men underestimated the dangers. I trust your team will not make the same mistake. Harvester purge is required for canister release. Move quickly. Low quality Ethereum is worth it to me. And you. Sample acquired, Dr. Strauss. Besides being quite heavy, Ethereum emits unique radiation. It will impair your vision and movement. Oh shit. Oh shit. That was not good. First of all, I put the canister all the way in. Now I have to go get the other one. Second, I went down. Those are the two things. <laughs> A snowboard or something, yeah. Something. Tempests are not fucking around. Shit. Whoa! 
what the smurf? That's not good. I'm gonna be slow because of the canister. Why won't the fucking grapples work? What the fuck was that? Dude, the game just didn't want me to live. I'm blaming it on the game. Like, I'm sitting there trying to grapple. Because I was trying to go over to the snowmobiles that were over there and just use them, but... No. No. You can't do that. You can't... You can't grapple. What, are you, what are you gonna grapple? What are you gonna... What are you gonna grapple? What the hell is that? See what the game just did to us, man? It's definitely the game. God, I was trying to help a guy earlier with the Easter egg, and I couldn't do it. We were in the middle of it, and then his game crashed, and then we had to start over, and I didn't feel like it. Right. I don't know. I don't think I'm feeling it. I'm just not feeling it. I'm just not feeling it. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go have some lunch. Figure out what I'm gonna do today. Something. I don't know. <laughs>